So I can't tell you guys how many times per day I'm asked about the DLC, and I see that in air quotes, Tuners and Outlaws. Literally on my Twitter account, on my YouTube comments, I see it everywhere. Uh, people are asking, when's this DLC coming out? You know, what do you think of Tuners and Outlaws? And before we get anywhere started with this video, uh, please do note that that was a fan-created trailer by GTA Wise Guy. As always, I'll leave a link to it in the description. And it's one of, honestly, the best fan-made pieces of Grand Theft Auto work that I've ever seen. So much so that I think that's why so many people are asking me if it's a real update because it really does look like a real thing. And the purpose of this video is to tell you guys that even though that that's a fan-made trailer, there's still a huge possibility that something like this could actually become something in Grand Theft Auto Online as a result of that fan-made trailer and ultimately the response that it's gotten. So let's think back to a recent Grand Theft Auto 5 DLC. The most recent one was Grand Theft Auto Online Bikers. Now, there was a petition for Grand Theft Auto Online Bikers. There was a video created very similarly to the Tuners and Outlaws trailer. And the petition itself right now, even though the Bikers DLC is long gone, has 18 thousand signatures over 18,000 uh, it's really close to like 19 or 20,000 now and that was actually started back in April of 2016 so if we think about it April May June July August September October that's the amount of time it took between when that petition was uh, started and when we saw Grand Theft Auto Online bikers in game now that is not to say that Rockstar saw the feedback and the petition of the bikers unite thing and said okay we got to make a bikers DLC but but I would be hard pressed to imagine that it didn't in any way contribute to them making the update. I imagine they saw this and said, whoa, you know, there's a huge chunk of the community that wants to see this. You know, we should probably think about actually putting this together and making this a real update. So between April to October is roughly six to seven months. And that petition got around 18,000 signatures. Well, there's also been one created for the GTA 5 tuners and outlaws update. And what I'll do is I'll leave both those links in the description to not only the trailer so you can watch it but also to the petition itself and what's pretty crazy about the petition and what's pretty crazy about the petition is it was only created on October 6th so basically about two and a half to three weeks ago this uh, petition was created and it already has 20 thousand signatures that's right it's already at 20,000 signatures and growing by the time you see this video it might be way more than that so the bikers petition got around 20,000 signatures in roughly six months this petition for tuners and outlaws got 20,000 signatures in about two to three weeks so if that doesn't indicate that there's a huge want and desire for this update, then I certainly don't know what is. Now, let's move on to point number two as to why something like this update could easily be implemented into Grand Theft Auto Online. And that is, it's a theme that Rockstar have not covered before, and also the elements are in the game to make it possible. So let's talk about the theme itself of tuners and outlaws. Uh, obviously, half of it is going to be about tuners, half of it is gonna be about outlaws. Uh, it involves the police, it involves collecting a bounty, giving chase to those you wanna catch up with evading the police it's also all about car meets new features for cars like manual transmissions new race modes like street races drifting uh, there's a whole lot of other things like drag racing street digs and rolls obviously there would be new contact missions a bunch of new vehicles as well all sorts of customization including track width wheel offset wheel width a whole bunch of other things including tuning to the vehicles that we've never seen before and online a custom workshop and garage and it's so much more as always, if you read the petition and you watch the trailer, you'll get more information than what I can uh, supply you with in this video. But at the end of the day, it's a theme and it's a category that Rockstar have not introduced into the game. We've seen race cars with cunning stunts. We've seen low riders with obviously the low riders updates, but we haven't really seen a sort of tuning update. And I know that's something that many people in the community are anxiously waiting for. And what I mean by Rockstar already has most of the elements in the game, there's body shops that would easily be able to accompany a tuner shop. There are 
so many listed in the game. In fact, there's even one near the casino that specializes in tuner style cars. So Rockstar could easily implement that and make it the number one spot if they wanted to have multiple garages, they totally could. There's also other elements of the cars that kind of make sense. Uh, more recently, we know that Rockstar removed stancing vehicles, but they said that would be returning in a future update, which kind of got me intrigued because they didn't really say the next update. They just said a future update. So it kind of got me wondering if Rockstar is going to be saving official stancing for uh, another update, very similar to Tuners and Outlaws. We also know the bikes have kind of like a KERS system that could easily be introduced to Nitrous for some of the cars that we're going to see in this update if it, of course, were to be a thing introduced. So like I said, the elements are there. The theme is not there, which is a perfect hybrid of what you want. And obviously, like we mentioned in the first point, we have the passion and the support of the community as well, which obviously is huge for Rockstar whenever they're diving into something as big as something like this. Now let's also talk about how it could work due to the recent news coming from Rockstar Games and that being Red Dead Redemption 2. So because Red Dead Redemption 2 is obviously now in the works and has a release date set for fall of 2017, it's likely that some of Rockstar's team is going to be split between developing Grand Theft Auto Online content and making sure Red Dead Redemption 2 is good to go. So this could be the perfect, I guess, idea for Rockstar to say, hey, this theme is basically already here for us, now we just need to develop it. So what this could do is actually cut down on Rockstar's development time, it could cut down on the work they have to do because this theme has already been laid out and the community wants a ton of support for it, uh, it could be, I guess, easier to implement into the game. Now that's not saying at all that this would be an easy copy and paste job, it would obviously be a ton of work for Rockstar to code, develop, and get into their game, but they wouldn't have to come up with a new idea and hope that it sticks really well with the community. This one's kind of already out there, we know the community really likes it, and there's a ton of support behind it. And because, like I said, some of their team is likely devoted to the next Red Dead game, it would make it easier on them and could be an awesome update that they could supply to online without having to do so much work that they normally have to do for these updates. So with all that in line, let's talk about a possible timeline for something like this. Number one, none of this is probably going to happen unless we show a ton of support for it. So that involves the petition as well. As I mentioned, I'll leave that in the comment section down below so you guys can check it out. And if you want to sign it, you absolutely can and support a project like this. But let's talk about the timeline. From the time we saw the bikers petition was in April and it was released in October, which is about six months away. This petition was started in October. So if we're looking at about six months away, that would probably be towards the end of spring, the early start of summer in 2017. So could an update like this, if once again it is added into the game, be one of the last big hurrahs for Grand Theft Auto Online? Because if it was released in the summer, let's say June or July, that would obviously only lead a few months away to the uh, release date as we see right now of Red Dead Redemption 2. Now my only fear here is that there just isn't enough time for Rockstar to do this because as we've seen in some of the data in the files found within the game, many of these updates like lowriders and heists and even executives and other criminals have taken years and years to develop, going all the way back to 2014 and early 2015. So that's what I'm saying is the only thing I'm worried about is even though this has probably been introduced to Rockstar, someone on their team has seen it, we don't know for how long they were developing bikers before that petition came out, which is why I always keep saying it's probably unlikely that that petition alone sparked the idea for bikers. It's likely that they were doing it, then the petition came up and it just worked out perfectly that way that they were kind of introduced right after there was so much fan kind of support behind it. So bottom line, in the point that I wanted to make this video up, is yes, it's possible that an update like this could come into the game based off what we've seen Rockstar do in the past with bikers and more recently with other small ideas that the community have been talking about, like the sixth garage, like the gun safe that was added with finance and felony. So there's lots of things that they're listening to the community to, and this one shouldn't be an exception. So would I be surprised if we see something along the lines of tuners and outlaws? Absolutely not with the amazing amount of support that it's getting right now, and you guys can contribute to that cause. So like I said, check out all the links in the description. As always, big thanks 
to GTA Wise Guy for not only creating the concept, but allowing me to kind of talk about it and hopefully bring some support his way. Also, big thanks to GTA GFX for allowing me to use the logo, which you probably saw in the thumbnail. He was the one that contributed to the design of that, which I thought looked absolutely incredible. It was spot on. I was like, man, how did that guy create that? So that was really, really awesome. Big thanks to those two guys right there. And like I said, as always, I'll leave links to everything in the description. So if you want to check them out for yourself, you absolutely can because there's no way I could have covered all the details of that update into this video. But if you went on to enjoy this video and want to see Tuners and Outlaws or something like that introduced online, be sure to drop this video a like. That would be amazing. And subscribe to my YouTube channel if you guys are new or you like daily GTA 5 videos like this. I don't think I'm going to be able to be streaming today, guys. Just got a crazy busy day, but likely we'll have some other videos out or something like that. But of course, without the way, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.